this is one of the issues as we're going down towards the changing rooms. It uh, gets narrower and narrower and narrower, down towards less than a metre and a half at certain points. At Tadcaster Community Pool, they've got a problem. The layout of the building means they can't afford to reopen, even though the government's given the green light to most indoor leisure facilities. I mean, it's fantastic for the sector and you know, people that, that can open. Uh, the difficulty for us, unfortunately, is uh, the guidance and restrictions that we have and we have to adhere to um, will mean that, uh, for example, it's a 75% reduction in, in attendance, um, which then makes us, unfortunately, uh, financially unviable. Well, how strange is this to be standing in a shirt and tie in a swimming pool and to be completely dry? When they do decide they're going to reopen, it could take three weeks to fill these pools with 100,000 gallons of water. And at the minute, of course, while this place remains shut, they're losing £5,000 a month. But losing that amount of money per month is nothing compared to how much they'd lose if they opened up. If we reopen with the social restrictions uh, in place and the guidance restrictions, we would lose approximately £25,000 per month. So, Danny, it looks like time's stood still here. <laughs> 17th of the 3rd, 20. Yeah, this is the last session we did. Before. And it's not just a financial cost. Swimming stars of the future are missing out on valuable coaching. We just had a few miss out on Olympic trials and stuff like that, and we had one lad go into his first international meet away, so we've had to miss out on a lot of uh, main competitions, like regionals, counties. We've, we've got a lot of good swimmers coming up through the ranks here, so it's, it's been a bit of a shame this year. Along the road at this beauty salon, owner Fionn is relieved to be reopening, but government advice says staff can't perform treatments on customers' faces. I have self-employed therapists here and I have makeup artists, um, skin specialists, um, I have lash technicians so they can't come back into work. It is sad and that they can't still earn. I do think it is a bit strange that um, barbers have now been told that they can do beard trims, whereas we can't have a client wearing a mask and being able to do a brow treatment. Time is running out for Tadcaster's community pool. They want people back in the water by the end of the year. It's just so strange to have no noise and no, no kind of like fun and laughter. It's really, really strange for us and we, we want to get back as soon as we can. Ian White, BBC Look North, Tadcaster.